This here is our peregrine falcon, one of our falcons that we have at the Outdoor Discovery Center. Uh, this bird here is the fastest animal on the planet. He's pretty amazing. The reason we have this one is because he has a permanent wing injury. We believe he was struck by another peregrine falcon while looking for his own territory and he wandered into someone else's territory and they chased him away, ended up striking him on the wing and breaking it, making it hard for this bird to fly around. We acquired this bird in uh, 2015 as a juvenile bird. That means he had different colors and different feather patterns. And so we knew he was in his first year of life. So he was first trying to establish his own territory when he got injured. So that's a good way to keep track of how old he is. He is almost well, he's between five and six years old at this point. You can see he's slate gray on his back and he's got this beautiful white belly and white speckled belly. So that's one way you can identify them. Uh, they're also a larger falcon. They're the second largest falcon we have here in Michigan. He's got long pointed wings that help him fly really fast. He's got this long tail too and all of his feathers are really stiff to help him be fast as a bird. You can see those cool stripes on the bottom of his wings there. Yeah. And you can hear how powerful they are too. He's really good at pumping those wings and using them to help him move really fast. This bird weighs a little over a pound. If you have a stapler at home and hold up that stapler, like a metal stapler, that's about how much he weighs. Not a lot, but still enough that he's a powerful bird when he's hunting. So this bird's habitat is mainly cliffs, and they make scrape nests on the cliff side. Here in Michigan, we don't have any cliffs, and so they are not usually typically found in Michigan. However, because of DDT poisoning and their populations crashing and going down, scientists decided to introduce them into cities, hoping that maybe these man-made cliffs would be a new habitat for them. It worked out pretty well. We do have uh, peregrine falcons that live here in Michigan, but they're still technically an endangered species here. They hunt and eat mainly birds. So they'll go and fly after anything that flies, basically. They have been documented capturing prey the size of a hummingbird all the way up to a sandhill crane. It's pretty amazing. A sandhill crane weighs about eight pounds. And so this little one pound bird has enough power in it to take down a sandhill crane. Now the reason they can do that has to do with how they hunt. And when they go and hunt, they actually dive after their prey. They use very, very tall cliffs as a starting point to fly after the bird. And once they get high enough, they will actually go head first down towards the ground. And as they're going down towards the ground, their wings are tucked in close to their body and they almost tuck their shoulder in too to create an aerodynamic shape to their body. And as they're diving, they're spinning in a circle as well. And so that creates a lot of momentum and a lot of speed. There uh, they've been documented at traveling up to 242 miles per hour in a dive. That's amazing and so fast. And once they get close enough to that prey, what they're going to do is they're going to fling their feet forward and they're going to ball up their foot into a fist and they're going to punch that bird right out of the sky. That's how they hunt. It's so cool. Usually when something gets punched at 200 miles per hour, it's going to die instantly. However, sometimes that animal is still alive. So what the peregrine does is he grabs onto that prey as they're falling to the ground. When they get to the bottom, he will take his tomial tooth and he will sever the spinal cord of that animal so that way it, it dies and can't fight back. He's also, if you notice, he has this bony tubercle in his nose or this looks almost like a booger in his nose. That bony tubercle allows him to keep on breathing while he's diving at high speeds. It lets air go into his nostrils and flow through his body so that way he can still breathe. An interesting fact about peregrine falcons is they were used in medieval times as a falconry bird for princes or earls. So lesser nobility than kings, but still pretty noble. Pretty awesome. <laughs>